Hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to get on here and do a quick little update for you. We are over 20 weeks pregnant, so we are actually 20, we will be 21 weeks pregnant in just a couple days. Um, I did post our little fun gender reveal. We are having a baby boy and we are so excited. Um, we are not saying what the name is, so the name is going to be a surprise to everybody. Um, a few things. Um, so far, everything's been going good. Um, I haven't had, I have a piece of hair stick. <laughs> um, so far, I haven't had much, um, nothing like bad. Um, I do still have the placenta previa. It is moving, so it needs to move another few centimeters before we're kind of in the clear. So I have been on like a light pelvic rest, just I was told to take it easy. Um, so I get that checked in another about a month and a half, but I do have an appointment in about a month. Um, just I've been going every month or a couple times a month just as extra precaution due to being high risk. Um, we did have an early glucose test at about 16 or 18 weeks and so far, knock on wood, I do not have gestational diabetes, but I will be getting it um, checked again probably at around 28 weeks just because with having cystic fibrosis, the risk is there. Um, another thing that they're gonna be checking again, um, like I said, the placenta previa in a few weeks, I think that's in March, like the first or second week in March. Um, I go back in just a couple weeks again to the doctor. So things are going really, really well. Um, we did have our anatomy scan at a little over 18 weeks. And I met with the high-risk doctor, and the high-risk doctor said at this time, everything looks good, nothing for extra concern. Um, and so far, other than the whole placenta previa thing, everything's been going good lung-wise, health-wise. Um, I've still been able to do my vest treatments. I have had to loosen up the buckles on my vest, um, if you're familiar with the vest. It is... Um, I put it on and then it shakes my lungs so no mucus sticks in my lungs. So I have had to loosen that, but I am determined to go as far as I can. Um, thankfully, I have not had crazy like morning sickness. There was a few days to where I did call into work because I was like, okay. It was just one of those days where you just, I laid and did nothing and um, had a little bouts of it, but nothing that was like extended or dramatic. Um, but I've been taking it easy, which is really, really hard for me. <laughs> um, just ask my husband. I don't, I'm not one to just like at night sit and not do anything. Like I need to be doing something. And I just, I feel lazy not doing anything. Like I don't like sitting still. I always have to be doing something. So being like just at night after dinner, like sit in the chair and don't really do too much. Like that's, really hard for me. <laughs> um, but I'm trying and, um, we did finally start buying a few things. Um, every time I go to the store, we buy like a little box of diapers or a little pack of diapers. Um, but I have bought a few items of clothing. So we're, get, we are so excited and I just like, I want to get my hopes so high and up until recently, um, it's one of those where you're so excited, but you're also a little scared because you don't want to get too excited. Um, but every time we've gone to the doctor, the little guy's heartbeat has been strong, very, very active. <laughs> um, everything has been good. Um, so I think everything so far, so good. I'm just very excited and just trying to relax, take it easy. Um, I haven't really felt too much like baby kicks. I felt a few like little, it almost feels like butterflies or flutters. Um, so after feeling that, when you don't hear or feel it a little bit, then you get worried. But the doctor assured me, you know, everything's good. Um, every, everything's so far so good. But the one thing that I have had, which is quite a bit like, um, what do I want to call it? Almost like joint pain kind of like nerve, muscle, um, not like pain, pain, just like soreness or stiffness. So that's not too, too bad. Um, I, I can manage that. I'm like, if that's the worst I had and then just a few days of like morning sickness stuff, I will take it. One other big thing is my insurance um, has changed a little bit where I work. 
So I now have to switch CF doctors, which is probably the hardest thing with everything going on because I now have to go to a clinic, which is where all my obese stuff is, which is a clinic three hours away, that they're a CF affiliate. So they're still part of a CF center, but they're not actually the center. They associate with the doctor I had, but my insurance won't cover any authorizations to go to my actual CF doctor. So that's probably the hardest thing right now because I've gotten, it took me years. If you followed me for a while, it took me years to find this doctor that I had. And he's amazing. He's phenomenal. The best doctor I've ever, ever had. And it's almost, it feels like a breakup because I, I didn't even get to say goodbye to him. Like this was all done via like my chart and messages and stuff like that. And it's just, that's probably the hardest thing because now my OB doctors are new. I've never had been pregnant. So I've never had, you know, the full high risk team like that, which is fine. But now I have to start over halfway through my pregnancy with a doctor I don't know um, at a clinic I don't really like. So I'm just praying I have that appointment at the end of next month. So I'm just praying all that goes well. I mean, I know everything's going to go well. Um, you know, I know we have God on our side. We have Bo looking out for us. Um, you know, and I always say, you know, every single thing in life happens for a reason. And maybe this is a sign that even though I travel <laughs> three hours for my OB appointments, um, maybe it's a sign that everybody's at the same clinic so they can all associate better. And, um, you know, I have, I have to learn to roll with the punches, you know, and roll with the changes and, I always say change is inevitable, so it's never anything you're going to not, not have. Um, you know, my motto in life is everything happens for a reason. So obviously there is a reason this is happening. Um, I know I'm not going to go down any bad paths. I know God will not do that to us or want that to happen to our little guy. So I know everything's going to be okay. And I know my lungs are going to stay healthy. And I know we're going to keep this little guy safe and healthy and very, very soon, either the end of May or early June, we're going to become a family of three, technically four, if you count the fur kids, or fur kid, our cat, Felix. Um, so yeah, I am just very excited. Um, one other thing I guess I didn't mention is because I am so high risk and because we do live a little further away, but mainly because of my high risk and if the placenta previa doesn't fully um, move, my OB doctor from the start has said we'll probably get induced a week or two, maybe three before I'm due, probably a week or two as long as everything's going well, just so then they can monitor and so then I'm not away from doing my lung or like my vest treatments too long because at some point towards the end, you do have to stop doing your vest because it, it won't fit. Um, so that's something that I'm going to go as long as I can and do with my best. But, you know, my OB team is amazing. I've, it's a lot of appointments, but I truly feel that they do have my best interests at heart. Um, and I'd rather be extra cautious. And that makes, it makes me feel better. Um, I am just trying to enjoy this whole process because it is so exciting. And I love every little bit of it. And I just... I pray so much that this little guy comes healthy and that I get, I can't wait to be a mom. I can't wait to be a mom and get to experience this. And I just try to, you know, I try not to overthink everything and I try to relax and just enjoy this whole process because even being able to be blessed to be pregnant and to have a baby, it means more than anybody will ever know. It means, truthfully, it means and feels like a dream come true, but it feels like one of those dreams that you feel like you're just waiting for like the next ball to drop or to be pinched and it's gonna be taken away. And so I'm just trying to appreciate every single part of it. Um, and I wanted to get on here and do a little bit of an update. Um, I told everybody I'm gonna try to get better. And honestly, I want this for my record too, because it's kind of like a little video journal for myself, you know, do these videos and look back on it one day, show him one day the little videos and um, just be able to celebrate with everybody. 
So I hope everybody's doing well. Stay warm. I know here in Wisconsin, we are in the middle of a cold snap. So when we woke up this morning, it was negative 24 degrees. So needless to say, thankfully I work from home, in home, at home. So I did not have to leave today, thankfully, but I hope everybody is doing well and we will be back to talk very soon. Bye guys.